Q-cells, Franklin, Tesla. Who makes the best solar battery in 2024? I'm gonna be answering that question and introducing you to my top five solar battery picks in today's video. The smarter way to go solar. All right, now in today's video, we're gonna be doing the top five solar batteries for 2024. And for those of you who've been following this space, you know that over the past 18 months, we've seen dozens and dozens of new battery products coming onto the market. And part of what I wanna help you do here on Solar Surge is cut through a lot of that noise and focus on which are really the top contending batteries, which are the top rated products that you should really be considering closely if you're looking into a solar and battery backup system for your home. And that's why we put together today's top five solar battery lineup. So without further ado, let's get to number five. All right, coming in at number five on the list is the Solar Edge home battery. Now, the reason that the Solar Edge battery is on the list is not that the battery itself is particularly remarkable. If you look at the high voltage Solar Edge battery that we use here in the United States, it offers 10 kilowatt hours of storage capacity and 5,000 watts continuous output power. I'd say that's pretty middle of the road in terms of other home batteries on the market. But the reason I include Solar Edge on the top five lineup is because of the other features that are available on the Solar Edge platform or within the Solar Edge ecosystem. And this is a trend that we've been seeing over the past 12 to 18 months is instead of mix and matching components from different manufacturers, we're seeing a convergence uh, onto a single platform where you're getting all your major system components from a single manufacturer. Your solar, uh, your solar inverter, your solar MLPEs, your battery storage, the app that you use to control everything, um, even your intelligent load control as well. That way you have one place where you can track everything and there's a consistency of user experience. Now, SolarEdge also is developing a bi-directional EV charger. And I know that's a technology that many of you are following. It's, it's one that I'm eagerly anticipating where you can also plug your electric vehicle into your home solar and storage system and have all of that work together as an integrated system. Of course, Solar Edge being a DC coupled system means you can also take advantage of the most efficient high voltage DC to DC solar to battery charging. And so for that reason, Solar Edge has earned a spot on the top five battery lineup for 2024. All right, coming in at number four on the list is the Enphase IQ Battery 5P. Now the 5P refers to five kilowatt hours of storage. So Enphase's battery is a bit smaller. You can see in this particular example, they have four individual batteries for a total storage of 20 kilowatt hours for the system. Now, again, if you look at the Enphase battery just by itself, the battery by itself is not that groundbreaking. It's certainly not setting any records in terms of power or storage capacity. Uh, each individual battery provides 3.8 kilowatts of power output and five kilowatt hours of storage capacity. But similar to Solar Edge, the reason Enphase has earned its way on this list is because of the other features and technology available on the Enphase platform. And when we talk about the Enphase platform, we're talking about Enphase microinverters for your solar panel. We're talking about Enphase and their bi-directional EV charger. So Enphase also has a bi-directional EV charger under development. Uh, of course, the battery, which is the main focus of today's video, the Enphase system controller, which sort of acts as your whole home intelligent transfer switch, routing power to and from the various different power sources. Uh, and it gives you the ability to tie in a fuel burning generator as well. So for those of you who are looking for more redundancy, you've got solar, you've got battery backup. Now you have an option you can plug your electric vehicle in and tap into that battery. Uh, and having a fuel burning generator as a backup as well, gives you maximum redundancy. And speaking of redundancy, this is the area where Enphase probably sets itself apart the most because you don't have any central point of failure, either with your microinverters on each solar panel on the roof or internally with the Enphase IQ batteries, internally they use microinverters to do the charging and the, the discharging or the, the inverting and the rectification. When we talk about inverting rectification, we're meaning converting between DC power and AC power or converting from AC power to DC power, which is how it's rectified when you're charging into the battery. Now, one downside with Enphase I should mention, with all that advanced technology comes a little bit of overhead. Now with these batteries, and we really shouldn't call them batteries, they're really energy storage systems that include battery storage cells inverters, or in the, in the case of Enphase, microinverters that do your inverter or, or charger function, and then the battery management system, or BMS, 
which essentially is a computer that controls power flow to and from the battery cells, making sure the, st the cells stay healthy within a healthy temperature range and all of that. Now, because of that, it's, it's almost like each of these batteries has its own separate laptop computer that's running all the time just to control the battery storage function, which means that with an end phase system, you're going to see an idle draw, in some cases, 80 watts to 100 watts of continuous draw just for the computer that tells the battery what to do. So if you're looking for the highest efficiency battery, you're not gonna find that in Enphase, but many folks consider Enphase to have the most advanced technology and certainly the most redundant architecture with distributed on the roof microinverters as well as distributed microinverters inside the battery. So even if one fails, you don't lose the entire battery, you just lose proportionally that much capacity. So this is the Enphase IQ Battery 5P. All right, coming in at number three on the list is a newcomer this year, which is the Point Guard Home Battery System. Now, Point Guard uses an innovative new design. Uh, you'll see a couple of manufacturers offering this, but it is a modular stackable battery design where the building blocks are either energy storage, or in the case of the top component here, this is your inverter charger or your control unit. Uh, and this modular stackable architecture has a number of benefits namely speed of installation. Instead of having a single battery that weighs, let's say 200, 300, or even 400 pounds, by breaking the battery system down into smaller building blocks means that it takes fewer people to install it. And in the case of Point Guard, there's no special lift equipment required at all. Now, even with all those benefits, Point Guard packs a strong punch in terms of power output and storage capacity. Now, the point guard system comes in a number of different sizes, but if you use the largest variant in terms of the control module here, you're looking at 11.4 kilowatts of continuous power with 37.6 kilowatt hours of energy storage. Now that's massive compared to the other home batteries on our lineup, and that can be achieved in a single stack if you use the maximum configuration, which is four of the eight kilowatt hour battery modules plus one of the five kilowatt hour battery modules. That's the largest listed configuration as of this recording. Now, Point Guard could have ranked higher on the list, but the reason we kept it at number three is because it's still a relatively new brand here in the United States. Although I should mention, Point Guard is part of a larger international company called Sig Energy, where they've already gotten significant additional traction with their product in the European and other markets. So if Point Guard is able to deliver on its promises and it shows good reliability, we may rank it higher in future lineups. Now, also available on the Point Guard platform are the V2X charger. So they also offer a DC coupled bi-directional EV charger, uh, as well as the load hub. And um, I know all the manufacturers have different names for these things. Enphase calls it the system controller. Point Guard calls it the load hub. But basically, this is a device that serves not only as your whole house transfer switch, so if you have to run off the grid, you can, but it also provides integrated smart circuit control or intelligent load control. That way, if you're running in a grid down mode, and let's say you're running on battery power, you don't want the battery to drain down too fast, you can program the system to automatically power off non-essential high draw items like electric stoves or electric clothes dryers so that way you can stretch your battery runtime for those most critical systems. And all that's tied in on a single platform. Point Guard offers a generator hookup option as well. So all in all, a very strong offering. If Point Guard delivers on its promises and we find that the reliability is good, it may rank even higher on next year's lineup. All right, coming in at number two on the list is the Tesla Powerwall 3. Now, Tesla Powerwall 3 is probably the most anticipated battery of 2024, and it made major waves by introducing one of the first of its kind integrated battery and inverter design. Meaning that the Powerwall 3 is not just a battery storage or an energy storage system, but it also is a solar inverter as well. And because it performs both functions in a single appliance, it cuts down significantly on the cost, not only for the equipment, but also for the labor in the installation. Now, Tesla has gone away from module level power electronics. And I should mention Point Guard also, has gone away from module level power electronics where it now accepts high voltage DC input directly from the solar array. So that means it's a more efficient, less costly, less complex installation on the roof and a more efficient high voltage DC to DC solar to battery charging. Now the feedback that we've been getting from installers is that this is one of the first batteries 
both point guard and, and Tesla Powerwall 3, is one of the first generation of batteries that the installers actually want to install the batteries and they can actually do it profitably and still offer it at a competitive price to the homeowner. And so I think we're gonna see a number of other manufacturers copying this design where the battery storage and the solar inverter and the charge controller, everything is built into a single appliance to streamline the installation and frankly, end up with what aesthetically is a much nicer looking uh, product as well. You don't have to have all these individual boxes on the wall and conduits and connectors running, the, running between them. Now, in terms of power, Powerwall 3 offers 11 and a half kilowatts of continuous load, which again is a very high power output battery with 13 and a half kilowatt hours of energy storage. Uh, Tesla Powerwall 3 is probably gonna be one of the most popular, if not the most popular battery being installed in 2024 and definitely earns its place near the top of the lineup. And finally, coming in at number one is the Franklin Whole Home Battery System. Now, Franklin just got a major upgrade to their new A-Power 2 battery. I can't give you the exact specifications, but sometime around the time this video publishes, they will have made announcements letting you know that the new A-Power battery has power output that's on par with Tesla Powerwall, as well as higher storage capacity coming out as well. Now, the thing I like about Franklin is that, and, and they've really done this from the start, is they wanna play nice with everybody. If you have a Franklin battery system, you can use it as part of a new installation, pairing it with best of breed solar inverters or micro inverters. Uh, or if you're looking to retrofit and add storage on to an existing solar system, the Franklin battery was designed for that as well. And that's really been part of their philosophy from the beginning is that solar and battery systems, they should interoperate seamlessly communicate using standards and not trying to close people off into these proprietary systems. Now, the trade-off with that is that it is an AC coupled battery. The AC coupling is what allows the seamless interoperability with any solar inverter, but it does mean that you would incur conversion losses or higher conversion losses than with a high voltage DC coupled system like Point Guard or Tesla. So what that means is that the high voltage DC solar power coming off the solar panels gets converted to AC power through an inverter. There's a few percentage loss there in that conversion. And then AC power is sent into the battery and then internally in the battery, it's taking AC and it's rectifying it back to DC because the battery cells themselves are natively DC. Then when it comes time to pull energy out of the battery, there's another inversion that happens from the DC battery cells to get AC output power to be able to feed into the house to power appliances within the house. So the Franklin battery is not the most efficient battery out there, but they play nice with everybody. They offer high power output, high storage capacity. And for those reasons, it stays at number one on our top five battery lineup. So folks, this has been a quick presentation of Solar Surge's top five solar batteries for 2024. Uh, as always, if you're getting good value from the videos you watch here, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Uh, and also go ahead and hit the subscribe button as well if you haven't done so already. That way, as we have new videos like this coming out, it'll come up on your feed and you can stay up to date with us. Now, of course, if you're in the process of looking at different solar and battery options for your home, uh, if you need to get a price quote for any of these leading battery options, as always, feel free to reach out to us on the link below here. You can set up a call with a solar expert uh, or just use the free online quote tool so you can see how much solar and storage costs in your area. Well, that does it for today's presentation. I thank you all for spending some more time on the Solar Surge channel. And as always, I'm Joe Ordia here, encouraging you to get prepared and be empowered. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video.